Hey, Melinda. Chief Meteorologist Catherine Thompson here. Let's talk a little bit about the weather this evening. I am at Ramey Toyota in Princeton, where we are taking Toys for Tots donations. Of course, we're kicking that off this evening, and that's going to run through early December. You can see the toys behind me, and any of these kind of toys will do if you are dropping off this year. You can donate zero, so age zero, baby, to 12 years old is the donation ages that we're taking this year. But of course, let's talk about the weather. We're gonna talk a little bit more about Toys for Tots the rest of this evening, but as far as the weather goes, it's certainly feeling more like Christmas time out here. We've got a blast of winter on the way. We're already seeing some flakes out there, a winter storm warning in effect for Pocahontas County or Northwest Pocahontas County anyway, through seven o'clock tomorrow evening. We've got a winter weather advisory in effect for a good portion of our viewing area through seven o'clock tomorrow evening as well. This is mainly gonna be along and eat or along and west rather of Interstate 77 along our western facing slopes as we'll have this northwesterly flow really kick up tonight. And that's really gonna aid in snow development as we head into the evening hours. So let's go ahead and look at our evening plan. Our temperatures look to drop quickly. We're talking 20s and 30s once the sun really goes down and eventually we dip further into the 20s tonight. So road conditions are expected to deteriorate a bit and the stuff will start sticking a little bit more once we get past sundown, at least by eight, nine o'clock this evening. Our satellite and radar is showing some of this, sat, uh, this mixture at the moment, but again, a complete changeover to snow is expected once again, the sun does completely set and that will carry on into tomorrow. Temperatures again are on their way down. Let's look at future cast. We're gonna go into tonight that snow continues to develop as temperatures continue to drop. The wind will remain gusty tonight. So blowing snow, another issue, not only will roads be slick, but you might not be able to see in some instances because of that blowing snow, it will create low visibility. So if you're out late tonight or anytime really during the day tomorrow, the snow will continue on and off throughout the day as this northwesterly flow picks up. And as we head into Wednesday, we really start to dry out. So not, tomorrow night, the snow will start to fade. I do think Western Greenbrier, Pocahontas counties, they'll pick up the most just because they're up north. They're gonna see that higher elevation uh, whip, that wind whip really across those high spots for a while longer. Let's look at our snow map. Let's talk about accumulations. Again, not a huge blizzard, but definitely a nuisance into tonight and into tomorrow. Generally across our western facing slopes, we're looking at around one to three inches. Obviously the higher elevations will see most of it. Locally higher amounts are possible too. If you're north of the I-64 corridor, especially across the higher spots of Raleigh, Fayette, Western Greenbrier, Pocahontas counties, you could be talking about a half a foot or more in some instances, especially up near Snowshoe, some good snow coming down uh, for the resort up there tonight and into tomorrow. But generally it'll be minor light accumulations for most of our area. But again, it only takes a little bit to make for slick roads, especially on untreated surfaces, those back and side streets. So please stay aware into tonight and as we head into tomorrow. Let's go ahead and look uh, again and recap overnight tonight, temperatures for most dropping into the 20s, but it will feel a lot colder tomorrow. We're gonna hover in the 20s through most of the day and it's gonna be windy. As far as wind chills go, they will dip into the teens, if not the single digits tonight, and they will stay low throughout the entire day tomorrow. If we look at our 10 day forecast really quickly, we start to warm up. Temperatures recover to around 40 degrees or so on Wednesday with some sun, but we're still gonna remain kind of wintry with some occasional rain and snow here and there into the weekend and early next week. I'll talk more about that, of course, as the week goes on. Hey, stick with us. We'll be right back right after this break.